Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally we'll be testing out the win later C mode official 13.1 on my low end Mali GPU Android device to find out if games like GTA 5, GTA 4 and much more work on this low end Android device which only has 6 GB of RAM out of which only 1.4 GB is actually available. It comes with the Mali G610 GPU, the MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor, this is the Redmi K50i which I have used to test out many emulators in the past and today is the time for win later C mode officially the best windows emulator for android in terms of performance and features the version of win later c mode that i'll be using is the 13.1.1 released about four days ago and if you guys haven't watched the setup video of win later c mode then you guys can watch it on the icard above with all of that out of the way let's start setting up this emulator on my low end android device i'll show you guys the full setup best settings and gameplay test so if you guys are new here make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's wait till the this process is completed. Afterwards tap on the OK button and make sure to enable this option. Once that's done go back and now we can start setting up the win later C mode official. So here you can see the brand new UI and much more which we saw in the last video. You get special features in win later C mode like the multiple controller support, ability to import game save states as well as Adreno tools, GPU drivers and much more. But to start off we'll go to settings, box 64 presets, set it to performance, duplicate it, tap on OK, edit it and set the save flash level to 0. Afterwards simply tap on the OK button, tap on the enter button. Afterwards go to the plus icon and create yourself a brand new WinLater container which will be specifically configured for Mali GPU Android devices. So screen size make sure to set it to 800 by 600 the 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. Wine version should be Proton 9.0 by the way make sure to keep it as default. In terms of graphics driver make sure to go with the wrapper graphics driver version 2.0 this is very important and in graphics driver version it should be system do not select any of these other graphics driver as these are for snapdragon processor. So we'll go with the system graphics driver and everything else keep it as default. Afterwards tap on OK. Now there is a setting known as use Adreno tools turnip. So if our game does not show graphical issue then we'll disable this option. In terms of DX wrapper make sure to choose DXVK. We don't need to use Wine D3D. And in terms of version we'll go with the Asynchronous 1.10.3. Audio driver is ALSA reflector. Keep it as default, enable show FPS and enable full screen stretch aspect ratio. After that we can scroll down even more. Renderer make sure to keep it as Vulkan. But if your games do not boot or show a black screen then you can set it to GL Renderer. But for today's video we'll go with Vulkan. Video memory size will set it to 4096 MB afterwards in advanced settings we can choose the box 64 version which is by default the version 0.3.7 so make sure to choose this. Box 64 preset select the performance preset that we just created and in terms of startup selection it is set to essential. Once that has been done simply tap on the enter button and your windows emulator container will successfully be created. We'll be testing out some awesome games later on in this video so watch the video till the end make sure to tap on the ok button and run your windows container. Now depending on your device if you have a really low end device then the starting up of container will take some time so a lot of things needs to be initialized before the emulator actually starts and here we go our windows emulator has successfully started. Now unfortunately if we go to the start section we don't really get any any test direct 3d option to see if our graphical output is working like we get in the normal win later android version so there is no fix for it all we can do is directly test out the game that we'll be trying out in today's video the grand theft auto 5 if this doesn't work then i have also added gta 4 on my android device regardless we'll be playing a gta game in today's video so here we go i have double tapped on gta 5 launcher let's swipe back and in system you can see the task manager option and even here you guys can see the game has booted but unfortunately we are seeing the green screen now this is because you'll need to set the renderer as OpenGL. i forgot for gta 5 you need the gl renderer so let's tap on these three buttons go to the edit section and i don't know why the dark theme just applied so we'll just cut and close the win later c mode and renderer make sure to select it as gl i have reopened gta 5 and this time hopefully we get a proper graphical output let's swipe back and go to the input section and here we have the input touch controls we can use virtual game pads if we initialize it early but once again you guys can see all we are seeing is a green screen okay guys finally all i'll be changing is the box 64 version to 0.3.6 and this time gta 5 should definitely work so i have reopened the gta 5 one last
last time inside the winlator c mode and let's see if we get proper graphical output or not so here we go gta 5 is about to boot there is no longer any green screen so our grand theft auto 5 is about to boot towards the left side of your screen you will be able to see all the information such as the graphics driver etc but unfortunately there is a problem which i just remembered this is the problem right here the social club error now even if you try to fix this social club error issue which you get in this version of win later android uh it just doesn't work the version of gta 5 which i have on my android device is not supported in win later c mode unfortunately now do note we don't get that same issue in any other versions of win later android we'll be trying out our next game which is going to be grand theft auto 4 now in my opinion even if the game did boot it would actually crash during the first intro screen or the beginning mission of GTA 5 I am sure of it I just wanted to see the performance but unfortunately this device is the 6GB RAM variant and I can't really use the latest version of GTA 5 on it because there is just not enough storage for it and if we go to the system settings where we have the task manager option you guys can see GTA 4 is not available here I don't know why it's not booted yet turn off our virtual gamepad and try reopening GTA 4 once again let's go to task manager it's saying fatal error let's tap on ok let's see if gta 4 boots but nope it disappears guys so i have no idea what's going on with this emulator so guys i have changed some settings and i have reopened task manager you guys can see gta 4 is not booting actually because it starts launching but unfortunately the game just closes itself i have no idea why this is happening because even the normal winlator android has been now optimized a lot for the mali gpu with the help of vortex graphics driver well unfortunately this winlator c mode does not have vortex graphics driver it uses the custom wrapper graphics driver instead so maybe there is some issue with the graphics driver which makes it unplayable for mali gpu android devices so maybe this needs a mali gpu patch in future hopefully the developer works towards it if you guys do have mali gpu devices and if it works for you then do let me know in the comment section down below that's going to be it for today thanks for watching goodbye